What's up guys? Welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and this week I am so excited because we are doing a cake that is inspired by my favorite television show, Project Runway. I'm gonna build a two-tiered chocolate cake filled with chocolate buttercream, and I get to make my own sugar finale collection. I'm so excited. Let's do it. So you guys have asked so many times to see my process. So I'm gonna show you my sketch to cake. So we're gonna start by sketching out what I'm gonna make. And I have my blueprint drawing box here, which has so many fun things in it. So I'm gonna open this guy up. I'm not gonna use all of it, cause this is a little intense for me, but it's everything that you need to get started as a sketcher. So we have a sketch pad here. By the way, I drew this. Just kidding, I didn't. <laughs> She's really pretty though. Um, I'm gonna use the graphite and the colored pencils. What, what do you think her name is? Chelsea. No, more exotic. Nancy. <laughs> so exotic. Okay, anything else I need in here? There's blending pencils I might use. Oh, a little ruler, that's good. Actually, erase all the erasers. Maybe I need all of this stuff. No, that's good. <laughs> I'm not that much of a drawer, but I do this. I like to sketch on the sketch pad. Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Is it my birthday? Maybe that was a sign, right? Like, from God, I don't know. Yeah, look at this. That's like, that's like my dream. This is like when I open a box of food coloring. It makes me so happy. And this I love because they're all different strengths as well. Strength? Strengths. I, I need my extra strength pencil for this one. <laughs> all right, let's start sketching. So uh, in, before I sketch the cake, I'm actually gonna start sketching some of the looks that I wanna make for the cake. And I do this, I learned this on YouTube, <laughs> by drawing circles. So I do 10 circles. Need to build like shoulders and a waist. So the circles actually help you like figure out the body proportions. So her shoulders should be no bigger than like two other heads. So that feels good. Okay, so I have her general shape, which is good. I'm gonna start getting rid of some of these circles. So now that we kind of got our stick figured out, I'm gonna start putting like some skin on her bones here. I'm Vanessa, hug and kiss. This is Gigi Hadid. Oh, do you even know who that is? Yeah. Okay. Who is that? You don't know Gigi or Bella Hadid? They're like most famous models in the world. Gigi changed the game. Speaking of models, did you know that Adriana Lima follows me on Instagram? <laughs> I've said it so many times. She does. Hi, Adriana. I hope you're watching this. Maybe she, I don't know if she watches Man About Cake. She does have kids. If you are, direct message me. I want to be your friend. And I also want to go to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna noodle this for a while and get it to where I like it, and then we'll make the clothes. All right, so now it's time to make one of my creations. So this is what I drew earlier. Um, I have another one here that I drew. It's kind of like a cat suit, and this is what I'm gonna make on our model here. I'll call her Denise, because why not? I'm gonna put a little bit of shortening on her so it doesn't stick. Uh, Joshua, this is the weirdest thing you've ever done on the show. <laughs> ever done. I had to go to the dollar store and buy dolls. I bought like 12 dolls. And he was like, girls, huh? And I'm like, yep, three. I don't have any kids. <laughs> but what was I supposed to say? I'm like, no, I just love dolls. So we're going to roll out a little bit of gun paste with some snow. Snow, snow. Okay, so we're gonna see how long. That's pretty good. I got a little bubble here. Okay, so let's get all the cornstarch off of this. So I want it to stick to her torso, her body. We'll do a straight edge, because this is like kind of like a halter. It doesn't have like sleeves on it. So we're gonna wrap it around, cinch her waist, make it form fitting, and then I'm gonna cut the pants out. Okay, so I got the cat suit like I want it, but it's a little plain, so I wanna add a little bit of like chaos to it. So we've got some black food coloring here. It's gonna like be wild and paint on her. All right, so I'm gonna leave this to dry and then we'll cut her off the form. All right, so Denise is almost set, so it's still a little bit soft so I can cut it off the back. I added a little flower and a little piping here which I'm gonna paint gold once she gets onto the cake. And now we gotta cut her out of it. I think it's so red. All right, now I'm gonna make the rest of my collection. This is gonna be so fun. Let's go, Denise, yay!
All right, so here's my entire finale collection, and I really, really love it. When I get them on the cake. Uh, uh, Joshua? What? So you're a really big fan of Project Runway, right? Huge. And this is your like runway collection? Yeah. OK, well, in the spirit of that, I thought it would be cool uh, if we could have a judge come, a special guest, okay. uh, and judge your collection. OK. All right. Guess what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mondo! Good. I'm excited I'm to see. I'm so uh, nervous now. Why? <laughs> because you're Mondo. Oh geez, I I don't I don't know what to say about that. For anyone that doesn't know, this is Mondo Guerra, a former contestant of Project Runway and one of my favorites of all time. He's very much a fan favorite for everyone. <laughs> this is awesome. And he's the host of the new Blueprint show, Runway Remake. I didn't even know that. You guys <laughs> are all fired. Um, okay, so here, here's well, how it goes. Wait, before we start that, let's okay. talk about uh, what was the inspiration of this collection. So, the inspiration for the collection was a color story. I wanted to do all black, white, gold. Mm -hmm. So this dress will have like a little more drama once mm -hmm. I hang it on the cake. I have to understand it's sugar, so we have to do things in stages. Okay. But I wanted to dress her doing different things. So mm -hmm. lots of capes, lots of drama, possibly a wedding dress. Um, I don't know what she's doing here. She's going on stage somewhere. Okay. If you're looking at the collection now, is there anything that you would do differently? I don't think so. No, you're. What would you do differently? You were perfectly happy with this. I think so. I'll tell you what I uh, what catches my eye the most. This asymmetrical pant. You know what's funny is that was pants, and uh -huh. I cut it off. Or did it just break? No, I and cut you it. Try to fix it. No, I cut it. I love him already. No, I cut it off. It felt too safe. I like that. I feel like this kind of concept, this asymmetry, should be echoed in other parts of the collection. Okay. I also feel like with these larger pieces, with like the flowers, there needs to be some more cohesion with that. Like okay. this flower doesn't make sense to me because okay. you have this flower and this flower. That kind of makes sense. And then is that too like three dimensional? Uh, or these are, like, I just more I'm form talking fitting? about overall shape of the flower. Got it. Okay. I think this is cool because I feel like it lends itself to these bubbles on the cape. Okay. And I think this is a very, 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 very strong piece. Yes! I like this setup and I like that you incorporated a lot of separates. I think that's really important. Okay. I like this being the first piece, but I would try to add some more of this into, into the, the opening look. So it tells yes. the whole story. So this you know actually, I mean? like I said, because of the way sugar works, mm -hmm. I have to hang this on the cake and then I have to put. Okay. So this will have more of this spirit once it gets on there. Uh -huh. All right, cool. Yeah, I think it's good. It's gonna all be gold. Is that bad? Should I leave it white? I would consider adding some color. Well, see, this is the thing, is the sketches that I did, the color was uh -huh. in the shoes. But we're not doing shoes. So do you think so like, when one you sketch, color? you commit to it 100%. Yeah, I'll show you. Where's my sketch pad? I will show you. <laughs> uh -huh. So the color pop was like with the shoes. And I like red or mm -hmm. pink. What this is giving me, I would either, I would probably say like a purple. A purple, yeah. okay. I think a little bit color would be nice in this. Okay. Add some more dimension. So do you want to try to make something with me? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, can we do something with color? Sure. Okay, so here's all the things that you need to make your own edible whatever. But first we have to start by just some shortening on your doll. The doll. So she doesn't, so it doesn't stick. It's, my job is so weird. Did you? Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that is really it's, weird. But it will stick if you don't do it. She doesn't mind it. Okay, <laughs> I'll do the same on mine. Okay. Sorry, this is not your normal dress form. Anyway, so these are all the molds. That you can use. They're silicone, so uh -huh. they, they won't stick. But if, if they get sticky, we have a little bit of shortening, and then we also have some cornstarch. Okay. And okay. then I have, there's color here, uh -huh. so you just play, whatever you okay, want to do. Okay, but how do you add the color to this? Just take a, like this. I'm gonna do a little purple. Uh -huh. purple what I think white. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with feathers, but I'm splitting up gum paste yes. in three sections so I can do an ombre kind of effect. I love that. So you just dip? Yeah, just dip, put it in, and then just knead it. So tell me about your show. Uh, so it's, it's on Blueprint. Yes, on Blueprint. Hosting a show where there's other Blueprint creatives. Okay. And they're going to be inspired by a challenge from Project Runway That's and so do it cool. in their own way. So it's not just about sewing. It may be something completely different. Okay. So for this show, you're like legit just the host. Just the host. I won't be interacting, but. You're I'll, gonna explain to everybody what's what, about to happen. Yeah, what, then, what was the inspiration. Got it, got it, got what it. What they're gonna be executing. That's cool, are you excited about it? Yeah, I'm excited. That, I mean. That's a cool challenge. I mean, of course I'm a little nervous, but you know, I'll get over it. You shouldn't be, Blueprint Talent, they're all really, I know all of them, they're really nice. All right, this is how I made this cape.
how do you trim this? So, uh, so actually, I'll show you. So take a little bit away. Uh -huh. That's really soft. So let me show you. I'm just gonna redo it here. No, 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 because I, I want them to see. She would only take it out to the edges of the mold. Oh, gotcha, okay. Mine is going to be a uh, performance piece. Oh, I like and that. it's just about done. As long as all the parts are covered. That's how you know you finished it. There we go. <laughs> That's really good. I should have made a dress like that. We're done. I mean, see, Project Runway. I don't, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if it's really good, but. So once it dries, what I'll do is I'll have to like just cut like the back out a little bit, and uh -huh. then I'll just pull her out of it, and then I can hang it on the cake. You're going to hang this on your cake. Sure, why not? I feel like I should execute something Look else. Look at me, I'm, like judge, I'm judging it. We have, we have the Mondo original. That's oh now man, I feel like I have to. That's what your pieces were worth. <laughs> exactly. Well, I yes. feel like I have to fix it now. Well, you could add stuff to it too. Yeah, I'm going to add some more. There's no, like... my, 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 my thing is feathers. <laughs> okay, well, then have at it with the feathers. All right, let's get, let's get a comparison of where we're at here. Well, I can't really pick mine up because her coat is so heavy. Ah! <laughs> That's really bad. Yours is falling apart. She doesn't okay. even have arms. I know. I mean, what would you guys judge? You oh, win. No, I mean, come up. on. <laughs> oh, She's no. Like... All right, Mondo, you're safe. I'm safe. Yeah. Next week. Okay. Joshua, I'll be your same. Pack, pack your knives and yeah. go. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. This was an awesome surprise because I am a huge fan of this guy. I love this. I promise I won't put it on my cake. Thank you. But I, <laughs> I'm going to keep it. Thanks for critiquing my collection. I might change some things. And you guys have to check out his new show on Blueprint. Everything is in the description box below. And Project Runway is airing on Bravo right now. Thanks, Mondo. Thank you. Yeah. All right, to start our cake that we hang our collection on, I'm going to break down um, some rectangles. I'm giant not, brownies. I may not, they're not giant brownies. I may not use them all, but I'm going to break them all down. By the way, like Mondo was just here. Like, how did that happen? How did, who, who Brand, did Brandon that? Brandon actually put it together. Brandon did? Yeah. Brandon. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my crumbs and we're gonna fill this with chocolate buttercream. Because the outside of the cake is gonna be black fondant, I just thought it'd be cool when we cut into it to have like a really dark inside. You guys can get the recipes in the eye above me or in the description box below. There's a lot in the description box this time. There is. And so while you're like trying to find the description box, you should probably hit subscribe. I mean, Mondo was on the show, so it's legit now. Did you know that there's a version of your show that has a less overwhelming description box on blueprint.com? That's you just right. subscribe, no description box. All right, first trip to the core, then we're gonna trim the sides, crumb coat, final coat. All right, I'm gonna get this in the cooler and let it get super, super cold. I'm gonna cut through it and make it super tight and then we'll cover it in fondant. All right, I got this fondant bowling ball here. He lines up for the pins. Oh, it's a good bowl. <laughs> okay, there it goes. I think his first mistake was using an oblong oval. <laughs> a weird mass made out of sugar. <laughs> Shh, quiet. Okay, now I'm gonna cover the cake in black fondant. I'm gonna roll this to an eighth of an inch thickness with a little bit of snow. snow! powdered sugar, cornstarch, either works. This is gonna take me like 30 minutes to roll this out. Okay, I'm gonna grab my cake and we'll cover it with this giant piece of fondant. All right, now I'm gonna add some texture to this using a set of circle cutters and then to get some smaller circles, some tips as well. All right, I'm all textured. Now I'm gonna stack the cake together and then we can put our clothes on the stage.
So I decided to make a logo for my line. I designed it first and then I cut it out of gum paste and let it dry. So I'm gonna hang this and then I'm gonna take Mondo's advice and add some pops of color and finishing details. My Project Runway Inspired Cake is complete and I love my final collection. A huge thank you to Mondo for stopping by and giving me advice because I really love the pops of purple. And you guys can check out his show, Runway Remake. I'll put everything in the description box below. And don't forget to check out my favorite show, Project Runway, airing now on Bravo. I can't cut it. It's too pretty. I can't cut it. I'm not doing it. Hey, do you guys care if I keep this greasy doll? Darth Vader, <laughs> but now you can call me Darth Kanker. Why do we laugh at him? I Stop it, Brandon. I am your father. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm like legit sweating. No, hey, no. I need a big butter. If you could not give me one, I will find another. I don't want it blue. I just want it fast. I want big butter and I want it painted black. My name is Helen. We haven't been drinking. Man. That's the sad part.